Hello. This is understanding phase diagrams in partially soluble uh, metals in a solid mixture region. Uh, this is for Purdue College of Technology, MET 346 Advanced Materials course in Mechanical Engineering Technology. Now, this is a phase diagram of silver and copper. And just to give the general idea of what you're looking at, you have a temperature scale in Celsius on the left, y-axis. You have a temperature scale of Fahrenheit on the right, y-axis. And then you have a percent composition of copper on the x-axis from left to right. Then you have different regions. You have a liquid region. You have a mixture of alpha and beta phases, all down here. This is a solid mixture. You have a beta phase here. You have an alpha phase here. You have a liquid plus alpha phase here. And a liquid plus beta phase here. Now again, this is for partially soluble metals. So what we're going to look at specifically today is partially soluble mixture uh, of alpha and beta, not eutectic. So or non-eutectic. So that would be this region under here that I have shaded and or this region over here that I have shaded. Now if you were to <clears throat> analyze a situation where say you had 70 percent copper at 700 degrees Celsius, you would simply draw a tie line to beta and calculate the percentage to be say 96 percent copper in beta phase, and then you would draw a tie line to the eutectic. You'd have a eutectic phase at, say, 28% copper, and then you, from there you would calculate your relative percentage amount. But in this case, we're looking at the shaded regions here. So for today, we're going to use 7% copper, which would put us just to the right of this vertical line here at 700 degrees C. And the reason I chose this is because there's a point S here and a point T here that we can use that are clearly identified on the graph. So if we have 7% copper, we would not draw a tie line to the eutectic point. If it's under this region that's a non-horizontal line, then we would draw a tie line to the left and right to alpha and beta. And we would follow these points down to see that this is about 5% in the alpha phase. And over here, T is about 96% in the beta phase. Now you only draw the tie lines to alpha and beta if you're in this region or this region. Like I said, other than that, in here you would draw beta eutectic, and in here you would draw alpha eutectic. So, we'll move over to the engineering paper. So if you're at point seven, and we set at 700 degrees, you have two phases present, alpha and beta. And based on the vertical line, one's at 5% composition of copper, and one's at 96% composition of copper. And we'll just put copper, and we'll put at 700 degrees Celsius here, just to define those. Now, the formula used to calculate the relative amount is... 100 times, this is for the percentage, 96, which is the percent beta, minus the percent point you started at, all divided by the difference, 96 minus 5. That gives us 97.8% alpha. Now, down on this line, for beta, you would do the same, 100%, or 100 for the percentage, times... 7, which is our relative amount, minus 5, which is our percent alpha composition, all divided by the same thing, the difference, 96 minus 5. That gives us 2.2% in the beta phase. So even though the graph shows us 96 and 5, which add up to 101, uh, it's not the relative percent, it's just the percent composition. So the relative percent is the important part. And as you can see from the calculations here, this is 
the numbers that you're going to get on that. So I hope that was a brief understanding that's uh, clear and concise of the phase diagram for the one we used for silver and copper. Uh, thank you very much.